What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. And excuse right off the bat, if I sniffle, I'm sorry. Please excuse it. I'm going to try to edit any sick me out. But uh, I don't know. I feel like I woke up with allergies today. But because of that, I didn't get up till a while ago. So it's 5 o'clock, so it's dark, you know, Connecticut stuff. Before I even got started, because I had a couple things I could have done today, I want to start on the disassembly of the rest of the LS engine. And, uh, well, the 6 liter, I should say. And uh, the bolts, if you guys remember, it was super, super rusty. So because it's a 6 bolt main, there's bolts on the outside, which also were rusty. Now, I got 6 of them out, but 2 of them I had to, I'll show you, I'll show you what I had to do. So I had to come over here. Also, on the agenda, I need to clean all this up and uh, organize, or at least take stuff off of that work table over there. Because we all know I don't have no damn work tables. Put it probably underneath it, I don't know, I don't care for now. Um, I'm sick, but I got all these out. They're supposed to be 10 mils. I got some of them with nines and some of them with eights and some of them with this. So this one I got out with the welder and it was funny cause it's the same cap. It's a middle cap and uh, yeah, nothing would fit on it. So I just went ahead and uh, did that and it worked. So I guess we're doing a disassembly on the six liter today. Junk. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this away because I should not be needing this again to take an engine apart. Get myself a little work area and then we'll get started. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm sick. I don't want to clean any of that up. I got this good. This is you know enough to put pistons and rods and whatnot on, and leave them there without anyone touching them and be somewhat organized. From what I've heard. And from what a lot of people who do LS engines suggest, they tell me if the bearings are fine, do not change them because more than likely you'll probably spin them because I'm not doing rods. Why I'm not doing rods? Simply because it doesn't need rods. It's going to be NA. Stock rods hold like 800. It will be all right. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, just go ahead and take the pistons out, pistons and rods. And that involves a couple things which we will get into in a second. Obviously you gotta take off the oil pan. I haven't even done this yet, so the the motors the engine smells horrendous inside. Like mud. So we'll, we'll see how gross it is inside. So this looks like a lot of water, oil, and dirt. So we're gonna have to get this all very cleaned up because this is straight up like sludge. That is horrendous. Let me go ahead and take oil pickup off and the, I don't know what you're gonna call this, belly pan, whatever this is. The, the pan that would be where the girdle would, but it's not. Okay, we'll get to that then. These are all 14s, I think. Thirteens. These are all 13s. Nothing seems terrible. That's good. Very nice. All right, guys. Well, right off the rip, I'm noticing some slight differences here and there, and uh, I just want to point them out. For this isn't a how-to. This is a learn with me type thing. So on these, there's curved parts and there's flat parts, and all the flat parts on yeah, literally every cylinder, every rod face the front of the engine. So I'm gonna keep that in mind when I'm you know putting them over there so all these they face that way the flat parts face that way um, like I said there's a six bolt main you have one two three four five six and that's your main cap so I'm gonna do that uh, I'm gonna take all of these main caps off I probably should have taken the rear main off before I did any of this because I have to and I didn't I didn't realize that but 
I should be able to get to him fairly easy, even with a ratchet. All right, guys, so I am really not feeling well, but I'm just gonna go ahead and for today, because I'm not feeling so well, I'm just gonna go ahead and just take off the, uh, the rods and pistons and place them in the order that I took them off with the engine upside down and because uh, they're kind of too dirty to label so I'm just gonna be as organized as I can know that the engine is facing this way and know that that this side means that way this side means this way if the engines in the front and if not I can come back to this video and check it out so try not to yell at me too hard for this but I'm being as organized as I can because I can't wash these right now All right, so everything's out. Um, initial impressions, everything looks good in here. No big score marks or anything. That was a little dirty, but that's just like oil and water mix. Not good, but I'm not gonna clean these off because I don't. I feel like these rust, so I don't want them to, so I'm gonna leave the oil on it for now. Leave the crank in for now until I can get everything sorted. So here is the orientation that they came out. Remember, when you do this, keep them in one spot. If you can see right here, these are cracked bare, or these are cracked rods. See how that just isn't the same right there? It's because they literally cast them and then they break them. There you go. They only go on one way. If you try not to make it go on that way, you're gonna have a big, big problem. So just remember which side is which. I would label them. I'm not going to myself because I, I can't. There's no use, I'm gonna clean them up anyway. And uh, for the bearings, let me just use one. Not bad, just normal, normal wear. There's nothing I can catch my finger on. It's just, you know, you can see a little bit of scoring there, but it's not, it's nothing, uh, nothing detrimental, and everything looks like it should. Everything looks pretty damn clean, besides the dirtiness of it. But not bad for a you know, 20, almost 20 year old engine. So I will be cleaning all this out eventually when I have, you know, the time to actually do everything. I'm gonna be rehoning the cylinders. I have new rings for these pistons. All the pistons look good. Also, the, these little dots are front. So see how they're all facing up on mine? That's cause they're in the right orientation, all right? I got a lot of projects. Like I got the Honda project I just ordered some stuff for. I got the Subi project. I need like very minimal stuff to do and then I just have, I just need like time and maybe some help. Genuinely some help would, 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 uh, would suffice because swapping these by yourself kind of sucks. Yeah, if you, anyways, let me, before I forget, you can see all these. Everything looks, you know, pretty straight. Like I said, those are just dirty, but. I don't think this thing ever spun a bearing. What they do do after time is they get like that like startup. So I don't know if it had that. I don't know if it had bad lifters. I don't know. But like I said, I have the LS7 lifters here. Brand new. Have everything that I need for this thing. And uh, this is going to go in the Z. Probably going to break my transmission because the torque of the 6 liters is a little bit more than the 5.3. I guess we'll see. I don't know. It's like a $400 transmission. I'll get a new one. But got a lot of projects going on. Got my NAV8 project going on. Um, when I get this engine out, 
may or may not be putting that in something and boosting it if it is correct for boost. Like if I take out the pistons in this and their serial numbers say like 8 to 1 compression pistons, blah, 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 forge, this and that, whatever, um, then I will in turn put it in. I will put it in something. I don't know what, but I'll put it in something, put a giant turbo on it, and uh, we'll go from there. Like I said, NA V8, possibly soon to be turbo V8, not soon, but when I get another vehicle. I don't wanna, I don't wanna stack up 15 vehicles, guys. I wanna have every vehicle that has a purpose. If I put this in something, I don't know, maybe it'll be like a friggin' a truck or something and I'll like give it away or I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't wanna have 80 vehicles. Everything, I, I wanna have things that have purposes. So then I'll have my turbo all wheel drive that I don't know what I'm gonna do with, but I'm, I'm gonna have a turbo all wheel drive. I'll have the turbo front wheel drive. I'll, I'll have the fast boy. Jeez, guys, I gotta go to friggin' CVS. I gotta go get some allergy meds. <coughs> this sucks, but I'm clocking out for the day, guys. Peace out. See you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the business. One like equals one respect for your boy's health. Help your boy get better. It won't actually help, but it'll make me feel better. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.